If you're new here, you probably clicked on this video thinking, why does this guy have haters? Well, it's a funny story, and let me tell you. So the last video did pretty well. It banged on Twitter. They're taking our roses, they're taking the lot. And they took your teeth as well. Yeah, they did. Got in a couple newspaper articles. I somehow went on a radio show. I'm th th thrilled to say uh, that Nico's on the line. Good evening. Hello. Yay! <laughs> and it was even doing pretty well on YouTube until YouTube demonetized it. Thank you very much, YouTube, for censoring racism. However, I also got a lot of very angry racists who weren't happy at all that I humiliated them. Nico, Nico, the racists want you dead. Do you have anything to say to them? Yeah, I'm sorry, racists. I realize now that you are right and I am wrong. Really? <laughs> I'm joking, man. They're all a bunch of schmucks and I have more teeth than all of them combined. No further questions. Nico, no! I've got a lot of very aggressive hate comments threatening me and my livelihood. So I thought it would be a great idea to respond to their comments. Let's start with Dylan. Now I interviewed Dylan at the racist march. Yeah, I'm against nah, Islam as an ideology. Nah, um, I think, how can we do that? And I don't think he was very happy at that noise I was making as he's been harassing me non-stop ever since. He DM'd me this massive paragraph, pretty much just lying. So I responded the only way I could think how. <clears throat> After that though, I ended up blocking Dylan on Instagram, so that's the last we'll be hearing from him. He's a very angry man. But now you know the standard for these hate comments. This guy really thinks he can outsmart the EDL. You have no idea what you've just started, you stupid little boy. We have multiple people looking for you and we have already identified your location. The EDL are coming, be afraid. Listen here, Anonymous Gary, I highly doubt you found my location because a couple days ago, I got this email. Someone was actually pretending to be the BBC trying to get my address. I mean, it does seem very legit until you look at the name. Gary Winslow. Well, it looks like you're not so anonymous now, are you, Gary? How do you feel, Gary? Because you were looking for me, and then I found your name and your location, Gary Winslow. I bet you're sat at home feeling quite stupid now, aren't you? You've exposed yourself, you schmuck. Oh no, Julie. The Nico boy has found us. Pack your bags, it's time to go. Britain can do without immigrants. I never understand why people say stuff like this because most people from Britain started off as immigrants anyway, but what would happen if all the immigrants just disappeared? We have finally done it. Britain have gotten rid of its immigrants. I can't believe it. It's no amazing. Way. I love it. Julieta. All the immigrants are gone. We're finally taking back our streets. It truly is amazing news. All the immigrants are just disappearing, poof, vanishing. It's incredible. Wow, they're geniuses. Get those immigrants off our streets. You hear this, Julia? Julia? Keith? I don't feel it's all good. No, Julia. It can't be. No. Those dirty immigrants are finally going off our streets! Oh my gosh! What's happening? Oh, well, it looks like I'm disappearing as well! Guess I'm an immigrant! Oops! My oh, sweet baby! You're the only thing I've got left to remember your mother by. By the way, the baby's not yours. No. Nico has me blocked on Instagram and other things so I can't expose him for the rat he is. He doesn't want people to know. <laughs> Nico, lad, you've gotten yourself in a whole lot of trouble, you little scumbag. Well, well, well. Looks like Dylan's back, but on, on YouTube this time. You can run, but you can't hide, Nico. Well done. You have the whole of the right wing looking for you. Smiley face. The whole of the right wing. <laughs> The whole of the right wing! Look! The whole of the right wing are after me! Please, Dylan, mate, have some mercy. I don't know what you're gonna say next, but I know it's gonna bury me. Your audience is full of kids, you little nonce! Okay, Dylan, you've done it. You've broken me. For that, I'm going to expose you right now. Every word you've said about me has been a lie. However, all it's taken me is one Google search to find out that you've threatened to hit women. You also said you were gonna burn down a mosque. You psycho! And you're dating your sister. Okay, that last one I was just speculating, but the rest were true. Let's get back to the comments. I'm black and I'm part of the EDL. Too many immigrants are being let in this country. Look at yourself in the mirror and realize you are wrong. I'm not racist, it's just common sense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the dumbest comment you will ever see. This black guy is a white supremacist 
and proud, okay? Listen, Samuel, how do you think your parents got in this country in the first place? You are the epitome of stupid. Oh my god, the EDL is not racist. The EDL is not racist. Okay, hang on a second, let me just get a video I got from an EDL profile, okay? I've just seen your shit video, you packy prick. If I ever see you in person again, I'll slap you back to the slave trade. You dirty packy. Yeah. The, the EDL is not racist. I swear if I ever get my hands on you, consider it game over. These people actually have like a warped vision on what they are. Like they think they're some sort of superhero assassins, when in reality they're nothing like that. This is what the EDL think they are. Hey, Nico! Looks like we found where you live then. Well guys, I don't want any trouble. Don't worry, we don't want to harm you. We just want to talk. Wait, so you're not going to attack me? We're not savages. You just think we're mindless thugs just hell-bent on violence. Well, yeah, I do. Mind flex, force choke. <laughs> off our streets, off our streets, get off our streets. <laughs> I'm sorry. I bet you're sorry, you dirty immigrant. No. <laughs> EDL, EDL. And this is what the EDL actually are. How can we get this kid? I know. Let's say we work for the BBC and email him. Yeah, that's a great idea. You are just a little YouTuber and we are one of the biggest organisations in the UK. The EDL will crush you, little boy. We will get you off our streets if it's the last thing we do. Biggest organisations in the country. The EDL literally has 2,500 likes on Facebook. I reckon in a day, we could get more than that. So you know what I've done? I've started the Nico Defence League. Join now! I dare you to come back to Telford. Watch what happens, you coward! Nico and Milano, I've spoken to multiple people and I can guarantee that we will murder you if you come back. This guy's really pushing his luck uploading this video. I will knock you out if I see you in Telford. Don't act tough behind a camera. We both know you wouldn't even dream about coming back because you know you'd die. Please, all patriots of the UK, keep your eyes out for this vile young man. If you so much as step foot in my town again, I will kill you. This ugly mole rat came to my town for 10 minutes and left. The coward only did this because he knew that he would never come back. But if you do come back, you're a dead man, trust me. I bet you feel all safe in your curry dome. How about you come back to where the march was and we'll see who the schmuck is. Well, I came back to the exact spot they said they killed me, but I'm still alive. This town now belongs to the Nico Defense League and the movement, as you can see, is very strong. This guy right here came over to me and he told me he wanted to join the movement. NDL, NDL, NDL. And the movement just kept on getting bigger. NDL, NDL. She was about to say EDL. At this point, I knew she was undercover. And what she said next confirmed it. NDL. What's NDL? Nico Defense League. Oh, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Nico Defense League, did you say? Is that what you said? Nico. Yeah. Nico Defense League. But you know what? My fella, we are safe. Safe me. I'm not racist. Do you know why I'm not racist? Because i got a colour TV and I have... <laughs> I think she realized she wasn't the right material for the NDL and she then ran off. But it wasn't all bad though because the other guy, he knew what we stood for. This has got to be one of the most important things right now. The NDL? Yes. A lot of people won't like this. No, they won't. give a shit. Exactly, we've got to put our lives on the line. Don't give a crap. I only just met him but he was ready to do anything for the NDL. But they want what the... The thing they're gonna do. Exactly. <laughs> we're, we're kill take, me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they can try. But we've got the NDL on that side. They, they can kill me, I don't care. Yeah. He was ready to die for the movement. This touched my heart, so I had to give him a token to remember us by. We're giving my brother a poster to remember the movement, spread awareness. It's been a pleasure to meet you. This is on my front window. Front window. And this was the start of a revolution. The NDL then went everywhere, across the UK. It somehow reached Africa, 
and people were ready to do anything for the cause. I just want to thank you guys all for the support recently as it has been mad. Today, man like Kumzi is setting the light goal. Hello, Nico's channel. Can you hit 10,000 likes? So can we please smash that? 10K likes would be crazy, but hopefully I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. If you want to be in my videos, follow all my social medias, and every week I'll find different ways to get you guys involved in the video. So go follow all of them now. There's no choice in the matter. I'm not a basic person, bro. I've got a quality TV. Okay. I can't be like that, and I have a black friend as well. <laughs> so 